Hi there and welcome back. My name is Monica of Million Monica over on Poshmark where I am a full-time seller and today I have a thrift haul coming to you from a consignment store that was having their like end of season or fall like back to school two dollar sale and actually it's from two different stores they're the same chain but I went to two different locations in my area and I have quite a bit of thrifted clothing to share with you so if you are interested at all in making money online and selling on Poshmark please make sure to take a moment to subscribe to this channel if you're not already and of course give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content it tells me that I should be making more of it here on YouTube and I do make weekly content so just again please make sure you're subscribed so, uh, yes, there has been so many back to school sales in my area and hopefully there's some in your area too and you are able to pick up some great stuff whether or not you're looking to resell or just update your wardrobe. I know I am definitely kind of transitioning my wardrobe this time of the year. So I have a lot of stuff, I, like I said, it's from two different locations in my area. I have a large majority of shoes, so hopefully you don't mind sh uh, me showing you a lot of shoes. Um, and yeah, so I'll probably have to switch bags here in a moment. But before we even get into that, I want to do an update on a pair of shoes, actually, that I showed in a thrift haul a couple weeks ago. So I have this pair, actually they're right here, I have this pair of Tory Burch um, espadrilles. And if you remember, I'll link the video up above. And I, at the very end of that video, I showed these shoes and I showed that all the flaws and the reasons I was pretty positive they were fake. And so many of you like left me comments saying, you know, take those back, even though they were on sale, you know, take them back, even though they weren't accepting re returns on them. So I did, I did take them back to the place. And obviously since I have them, I'll explain what happened. So originally I thought they were fake for a few different reasons. The stitching was all wonky. There's absolutely no size. The bottom doesn't have any size dot, which normally a Tory Burch would have a size dot. Um, just so many things were odd about these Tory Burch flats. So again, just go back and watch that video if you're not sure what I'm talking about. Anyways, I took them back and you know, I just explained to like, the gal that was working, um, you know, I had, I had talked with her before and she'd been really friendly. I said, hey, you know, I do you remember me? I bought these last week and I just showed her everything that I talked about. And she's like, you know, these, it definitely seems odd, especially there's no size whatsoever in these. So I left them with my number and, you know, she talked with the manager, um, all of that. So this was over a few days time span. Um, I did get a call back from the manager, the owner, I don't remember exactly. And they were able to run these through their system again and do some more looking. And they found the exact pair. Um, apparently they retail for $150 and they are apparently just a lower quality Tory Burch shoe. So they are in fact authentic. They are just a lower quality Tory Burch shoe that indeed has some flaws. So here's where I messed up. Obviously, I just went off what I knew about authenticating. And I did a, when I did a quick search on these, I actually will insert a picture of what I found. And when I did a quick search, I found what I thought these were trying to mimic. And I didn't look much further than that. I thought, oh, like they're supposed to look like this. They don't look like this. There's definitely some, you know, uh, some flaws or differences. And I didn't look further. I just stopped looking. And I should have kept looking because once I started searching more and deeper, I did find the exact pair as well. There's one comp and only one comp on Poshmark for this exact same shoe. Um, so here's the thing. I will list these. They are lower quality. They're not uh, a great shoe overall. I mean, that's my personal opinion. I don't wear Tory Burch shoes. I, uh, but I know that there's a lot of people who have brand loyalty to Tory Burch and that would maybe be looking for these. So I will list them because technically, you know, they are, in, they're very clean and whatnot, but it's going to be hard because there's no size. I will have to measure, um, and try to use a size chart to figure out what size these are, which is kind of annoying. It's also somewhat annoying that, you know, this luxury brand, um, this designer brand would make such a shoe 
you know, that doesn't seem like the quality of that they're known for. So they are in fact authentic. So if you were wondering how that turned out, now you know I've spent the last five minutes talking about that. Sorry, but I thought it was worth the update, but not really worth making it its own video for. Okay, moving on um, to what I actually found at this consignment sale. Um, like I said, it's a combination of two places. I'm pretty sure I've repeated that now several times. But I did pick up some a few clothing items. Um, I believe these consignment places take all styles year round, so like all seasons year round, but I did mostly come across like more summery type items. So this is just a Banana Republic top. It is new with tags. It's a size small, um, but it's like 40% silk, so it feels beautiful. It's kind of that peasant style neckline with a cute little sleeve. Kind of a more of a boxy flowy fit. It would be a great career wear top yet this fall. Um, so yeah, that's the first piece. Um, then I have this pair of Madewell shorts. They're kind of the boy shorts, so they're a pinstripe or I guess maybe a railroad stripe with some distressing. They are size 29 and yeah, I, I don't find Madewell all that often, so that I would give those a try yet this fall. Now I love selling vintage, so I was more than happy to find a pair of vintage shorts at the consignment store. They're a higher rise. They're this brand E N U F <laughs> enough, I guess. Um, but anyway, they're a high rise. They're this light wash, uh, and they're tag size 11. I, I think I remember I measured them at, uh, 14 and a half flat across. So probably, um, good for a modern size, like 29 ish depending it just depends on your own measurements so you know if you're more hippie or more narrow it, it will kind of vary on how it fits so I always put measurements in the description for vintage items so that people can compare um so this is fun I don't know if I've shown this brand before I picked it up a couple of other times but it's the brand pure hand knit and this is a x small small but it's basically this cowl neck um, kind of tunic length sweater tank. I think it's kind of vest like in a way because definitely it, it could be a layering piece. I don't know. I really like um, sweaters like this because you can just wear it as is and then throw a jacket on top if you're going out or you could wear a long sleeve underneath it as well. I like the kind of neon color. I don't know why, but I like that. Uh, here's an anthro piece. This is definitely more of a summer piece. It's Florie, the anthropology brand. Uh, let's see. I think it's a size eight and it's kind of that retro pinup style um, tank top with some floral embroidery and it does have some smocking here. So in the bust area, so it'll com accommodate some bigger busts if needed. Yeah, I thought that was super cute. And it has a side zipper for easy on and off. Here's another one of those kind of tunic length uh, sweater tanks. I don't know if that's the appropriate word for that at all, but this one is also new with tags. It's by The Limited. It's a size small. It retailed for $70. Uh, again, that kind of turtleneck. I just, I seriously love these. I have a few of these in my own closet. Again, I love the layering option. Um, I should say that like none of the pieces that I picked up in these consignment stores are like over the top uh, designer brands at all. I would just say they're more, I guess I think this piece is a designer, but it was, the comps aren't awesome. But I should say they're just more bread and butter for me. They um, definitely will hopefully be some quick sales this fall and winter. So yeah, um, I think in my last video I talked about how I keep around a thousand items. Um, active listings in my Poshmark closet, I'm definitely more of a volume seller. I like giving people the option of creating big bundles and getting a good deal. So yeah, that's kind of my closet. And so this is by Alberto something. But I think it did say, I, this had like a little tag on it that said, said it was a designer. Uh, comps weren't anything crazy on it though, but I really like this 
I think it's called Petone Green, is supposed to be one of the colors for fall. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of wearing a vest that's a similar color, but I just thought it was really pretty. It's a definitely a gorgeous fall and winter color. It just feels like a nice quality sweater and it has these little side slits. Now I did pick up some jeans. Um, I didn't, there wasn't a whole lot at the locations I was at as far as quality jeans, but I did pick up this pair of Miss Me jeans. I don't pick them up very often. My Goodwills and thrift stores typically want between $15 and $30 for Miss Me's, which is crazy because um, I can barely sell them for $30 on Poshmark anymore. This one is missing a stud, but the reason I picked this one up is because it's a skinny leg. And I feel like I have picked up some skinny leg Miss Me's before and they sold much quicker than like the boot cut ones. So even though this is a lower rise, it is a skinny leg, which... I hoped would make it maybe sell faster. Uh, and then this pair is also a skinny, but it's American Eagle. Uh, it's a size two, super stretch, jegging. Um, American Eagle sells pretty quickly if I list it at, you know, a lower price. So, you know, they are in really good condition. They feature some distressing. Again, skinny leg. They are more of the jegging style and they have a higher rise on them. And then this pair of Hollister jeans, which I don't really pick these Hollister up, but again, they're having this great sale. So they had the button fly, great distressing and patchwork detailing. They're more of a girlfriend or boyfriend fit. And then here's the back pockets. So I thought I would give those a try. I think they're super cute. Hopefully back to school, someone's looking for some jeans. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some of the bags that I picked up and then we'll go into shoes. Okay, so you know I love selling vintage coach bags. So I found this red one. I rarely find red vintage coach bags. Um, so it's fun to find a different color. I unfortunately, there was several other coach bags that I missed. Someone else found them. I'm pretty sure she was a reseller. She had rows and rows and rows of bags. And I think she had been there much before I was there, or at least at the one location. So this one, unfortunately, does have some wear on the corners, these two corners specifically, where it's kind of worn through. Um, and I currently don't have any matching red, like, leather dye. I'm not even sure that that would work on this. So, um... I didn't, it's just, that's how it is. But overall, it's in really good condition. That's really the only flaw. So yeah, this is a great bag. It's already gotten some interest. Okay, another red bag. I really like this. This is a Vera Bradley, which I've never really found Vera Bradley, like that's this kind of like hard shell bag. Usually they're quilted, but it does have a very classic like Vera Bradley inner lining. And this bag actually had three bucks in it, which was kind of fun considering I rarely ever find items with money in it. So that was kind of exciting. And it is a crossbody. And then another Vera Bradley, which this is a tennis racket backpack. So it can be, you can put your tennis racket in there and then the top is open. So for the handle to stick out. Um, it has this strap that can be, you know, it can be slung around over the shoulder or across like kind of a backpack style. So that's a really fun bag. It has some structure to it. That already has a lot of interest too. I think I said in some of my other videos that I've been picking up Vera Bradley more and more often. For the longest time, I avoided it. Um, and I don't know why, because it actually does pretty well for me. Okay, so now we're getting to the shoes. I picked up a lot of shoes. As always, I love shoes. Okay, so here is a pair of, oh, this pair is hard not to keep. Sam Edelman Espadrilles. Okay, this is just what kills me. This pair of Espadrilles by Sam Edelman is much higher quality <laughs> than these Tory Burt shoes, which again is why I just was so convinced that they were fake. I mean, Sam Edelman is, I would think in my brain, is not known for... I was not as highly known as Tory Burch, yet these are in so much better, like, quality than this pair. But again, brand loyalty. I am definitely more loyal to Sam Edelman, for sure. I feel like they're so comfortable. Anyway, 
this pair. I think they're called the Vivian, um, if I remember correctly, size seven, in just great condition. Okay, uh, if I can find the matches to everything, of course, that's the hard part. But this is a pair of Born flats, definitely a comfort shoe. They are leather in great condition and kind of a red burgundy maroon color. Just beautiful. Such a great career wear shoe. Uh, and let's see, can't remember what everything, seven and a half. Super cute. Uh, here is a pair of Toms and they're just kind of a little peep toe booty with a laser cut design, kind of suede leather and a stacked heel. So yeah, I don't remember what the size is on everything. So I'm probably just going to have to skip that part. Otherwise it's going to take forever, but they're a size eight and a half. If I start skipping sizes, it's because it's just too hard to find. Another pair of Sam Edelman. Again, I just love Sam Edelman booties. They're so cute. I know they're black, so they're a little bit harder to tell the detail on them. They have a great kind of uh, rose gold back zipper. And again, just kind of a little heel. Great with so many different outfits. Okay, so then a pair of dance goes. Oh my gosh, they had... So many pairs of dance goes, but they weren't all on sale. I wanted to buy them all, but of course, because it was a consignment store, like their regular price stuff was pretty expensive. I didn't want to pay $50 at a consignment store for dance goes, but these ones were on sale. They're more of a sandal, kind of a, almost a wedge. I like the strappy kind of ness of them. I've never really seen this style before, but again, great condition. And there are a size... European 40. Okay, so this pair, I I didn't really check comps on everything, I'm not going to lie, but because everything was on such super sale, I wasn't too concerned. Even if, you know, I sell them for 25, I'll be happy or even less than that, honestly. But they are this pair of Victor. They're called the Thriller. Um, they're a gold kind of snakeskin design shoe. This would be perfect for prom, homecoming, any special event, even a wedding. They're just, they're cool. They're kind of a square toe, which is coming back or kind of trending right now. I did find another pair of, they're the, I'm not sure what the brand, Papilia or something like that by Birkenstock. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Oh, here's the match. This pair is in much better condition than the last pair I found. I'm hoping for around 45 for these, 40, 45 would be nice. There's some toe indents, but otherwise they're in really good condition. Um, they're a very fun pattern or design. Okay, and this is a pair of aerosols. They're just a very comfort heel. I, I love the wedge. And of course, the animal print um, pattern is fantastic. Just great condition. All these shoes are in great condition. Again, I know I say this in other videos, but I really don't like picking up shoes if they need a lot of work because I just don't have time for that. It's not really worth my time. Um, I can find pretty good shoes in pretty good condition. I am so excited for this pair of shoes though. This is a pair of Mizmoos. Um, they are so fun. This beautiful green color, little ruffle there. So they're leather and then this part is fabric. Um, but they're in great condition. I have found a comp for this exact pair of shoes that was, I think, 60. I can't remember now. There were several in this green color, but not this exact style that it also sold, sold for a variety of different um, prices. But this pair particularly had a pretty good comp on it and seemed more rare. But they are just such a fun, like, retro style heel and a really fun color. Okay, this pair of heels was interesting, and I'll show you why I picked them up. I know I probably, maybe it was a mistake, I don't know, there's hardly any comps for this brand. Um, it looks like it is a French brand from what I found. Um, it retailed for $450, um, but the issue is they're tag size 7, and they are definitely not a size 7. I am a size 7, and they are several sizes too big for me. So I looked up their size chart um, for this brand, and it looks like they're a size 40 in French. Like the, it says somewhere on here, they were a 40 French. Um, and that equated to, I can't remember now if it was a size 9 in the U.S. 
I don't remember. I put it in the listing, but it's just very confusing. It's a little bit easier to find European to US conversions, but this seemed a lot more difficult. So hopefully they will sell to the right person who knows this brand and the sizing, which is really kind of strange, but they're still really a unique uh, shoe. Super cute. And I love picking up this style of shoes. This is just a vintage naturalizer, but I really like their kind of a mule style shoe with just a little low block heel and then the woven leather upper. They're super cute. I've sold several pairs similar style to this, so it's excited to find these. Again, just bread and butter type stuff. Nothing like super crazy. Um, and then I found this pair of Cole Haan. Um, kind of, I guess, a wedge. They're strappy. This, like, wraps around the ankle. It's super cute. Uh, I know that a lot of people can sell Kohan for quite a bit of money. I have, I struggle. The black is just not showing up very well, but I struggle to sell Kohan for very much. Usually 30 to 35 is about all I get for Kohan. So that's fine. Again, but bread and butter. That works. I love these pair of like clogs. So this is very similar to the Dansko brand, but they are Born or Bach by Born. But they're the like, but they're the Python like snakeskin um, design, which is really trendy. So hopefully someone will find these and just love this print. And I think we're getting close to the end. So here's another pair of like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have bought these, but. Um, uh, they are, uh, Joan and David. They're kind of this metallic -y, like silver metallic and black stiletto, pipto, like little platform there. Perfect again for homecoming, prom, special events. They do have a little bit of wear, but I definitely think that the right person looking for them will enjoy them. So we'll see. Size seven and a half. And lastly, this is probably my favorite pair of shoes, and I wish they were my size, is this pair of a wooden clogs. I super love them. I guess they're more of just like a heel, but they're still a clog. Um, the weird thing about these, though, is that I can't find anything on my clogs SE. I don't know. I, I couldn't find anything on this. They seem to be in great condition, really great quality. They remind me a lot of a Swedish has-been um, or a Lotus by Stockholm. So, yeah, they're in really great condition. They're tag size 40, European 40. So, hoping that these find a good home. They're great quality for a wooden heel. If you're familiar with wooden heels, um, they really don't even look like they've been worn. So, Really great find, and they're kind of like a navy, actually. They, they look black here, but they're more of a dark navy. So, yeah, that is what I found mostly. I think I had two oopses, like two actual oopses. Um, I had a couple of sweaters. That one, I missed a hole, like, in it, and I might be able to fix it. Um, and then one has a stain, so it's in the wash right now. But overall, this is what I found at a consignment sale, back-to-school sale. And I should tell you that I have a really, like, in my mind, epic uh, bins haul coming really soon, the same day that I went to these sales. I actually went to the bins first, and I found probably the best stuff I've ever found at the bins, so that will be coming later this week, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and of course, I will see you next time.